Hey guys, my name is Mercy. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for you to be here and in this video I'm going to tell you guys what specialty that I ended up choosing. So for my dedicated followers, you know already what I've chosen because I've actually established it in one of my vlogs. But in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how I ended up selecting what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> it took forever to get here so I didn't want to end up choosing something that I would end up regretting or hating. So I'm going to give you the factors that are important to me and hopefully you you can use that and uh, kind of figure out what you want now obviously I'm gonna have a lot of opinions in this video but that doesn't mean that you have to agree with this, these opinions because we're two different people and I'm not trying to bash any specialty it's just personal preference okay just wanted to put that out there because I didn't want to seem like I was just like you know being mean anyway if you're interested in finding out my process let's get going so I actually wanted to be a dentist and when I was in high school I thought I would want my own practice and so I followed my dentist and ended up by the end of the week absolutely hating it. I hated the idea of pulling teeth and I saw I think three tooth extractions and I was like uh-uh this is not for me. So then I was like oh you know what I absolutely love kids so I want to be a pediatrician and so I followed a lot of pediatricians so whether they were in the ER setting or just like private clinic I loved it every single time I did a shadowing experience or a volunteering experience I absolutely loved it and I thought okay this is what I wanted to do. In between semester one and semester two in medical school I did an observership of a family physician and I ended up realizing that I want to also treat adults and elderly and not just kids so then once clinical rotation started I kind of started eliminating things as I realized what I didn't want as I realized my own priorities and as things kind of changed up in my life and things that weren't significant before became more significant now and so as clinical rotations began to move along I knew exactly what I didn't want so lifestyle was super important to me so that was a criteria number one the other thing was salary I wanted to make a decent amount of salary where I would be taking care of my parents as well along with my own future family and then something I absolutely which is the most important is something I love and want to wake up to and not feel frustrated all the time and uh, feel regretful so those are really really important I loved all of my rotations I love surgery internal medicine ob family pediatrics psych I loved it all emergency medicine endocrinology uh, some electives that I did however I wasn't absolutely passionate about every single one of them so I eliminated as I realized that my passion for it is not there uh, so surgery we can eliminate that out right away I did not care for the lifestyle ob -GYN, similarly I absolutely loved ob -GYN, actually and I even considered it just because I do love women's health a lot but I did not care for the lifestyle I don't want to wake up three in the morning and have to deliver I know I'm gonna be cranky I know I'm gonna just like hate myself for it for those that you know do it obviously more power to you and that's amazing and we need people that are passionate about these things and so it just wasn't for me pediatrics again I wanted to treat adults and so I eliminated that out psych I wanted medicine involved so I didn't really care for I love the lifestyle the lifestyle check but i wanted to be able to do medicine daily internal medicine a lot of medicine the rotation itself i wish i had done more like you know participate i saw like central line placement and all that but i didn't really like get my hands dirty as much as i wish i had but i really liked internal medicine and then with family medicine i'm gonna be so real with you guys i hated the idea that it was the easy specialty to get into i hated that idea but i think more so than that it was um it was because of a lack of passion and then also i didn't really care for the salary because it's on the lower end out of all the other salaries and again that's not to seem some kind of way this is just my honest opinion obviously you shouldn't be going into medicine for monetary reasons however my point being that it's still something that we're going to look at and consider honestly a lot of people specialize because the money's a lot more and actually that's one of the reasons a lot of people don't go into a family practitioner because of the salary so that was a no and so internal medicine was basically something that I kind of fell back on out of of all of the quotations that I went through that was essentially the specialty that I thought that I wanted I always loved ER but the burnout rate would always scare me away I don't want to just do medicine for a short period of time and then you know retire retire really early like I want to practice it for a long time and so that kind of made me hesitant and actually during my family medicine rotation there was a resident a third year resident who told me about the fact that you can do like an im em or an fm em where you do like 
for example, internal medicine for three years and then you can do a fellowship of one year in emergency medicine. Obviously, you're not going to end up working in really big cities because most likely those big cities are going to hire someone that went through emergency medicine residency, which makes sense, but you would still have a chance in like um, less bigger cities and whatnot. So I thought, oh shit, like I could do IMEM. So that was something that I then kind of sat on and held on to. As I did my internal medicine rotations, I realized the most that we can do is get them back to their baseline and then send them off home and try to teach them preventative measures so it doesn't they don't have that acute exacerbation again but this disease could have been prevented altogether and that was so disheartening to me as time progressed i was becoming more and more disheartened i was dismissing this one specialty that actually made the most sense for my personality for my passion and for lifestyle it checked a lot of my boxes without me really realizing i remember thinking you know what like i really want to be part of preventive care i always say preventative and i got corrected during one of my interviews they're like it's actually preventive just so you know <laughs> yeah i like preventative it's an alternative way of saying it's acceptable now so i'm just gonna use it it's fine so yeah i really want to be part of the preventative care as soon as like that light bulb went off i realized that hey like this is so freaking, I was about to curse, freaking exciting and this is exactly where I'm meant to be and this is where I can really make a difference in the health field. I'm really, really excited. And so if you haven't realized what I'm talking about, I'm so interested in family medicine. I'm really, really excited. As I'm learning more about family medicine, I'm realizing how important family physicians are are, period. I'm really, really, really excited to have come to this conclusion. Yeah, so that's how I figured it out. I want to be a family doctor. And I hope that one day I open my own clinic, but we'll see where life takes me then. And so I hope that I can start my ventures uh, this coming June, July. Communion prayers. Anyone that's interviewing this interview season, I wish you the very best of luck. And anyone that's starting med school or uh, in their clinical years, best of luck. You'll do amazing. Cherish these moments. You'll get there and it'll be so exciting i pray for all of our success and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you did enjoy this video and i really hope that this video helped you some way somehow kind of got you to think about what your priorities are what are the things that are important to you so that way you can kind of formulate what you're passionate about and uh yeah so that's it you guys i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye guys Mwah.